Namaskar, welcome back to another video of Indian student in Canada and in this video we're gonna talk about why I actually got my real estate license. I got four properties and I had an IT job full time and got my permanent residency. If you haven't watched all that videos, the stories, horrible different stories. Uh, I have the links in the description, check out those. But uh, life was going well. And all of a sudden, you know, I'm still like, um, when I got my license, I was still 29. Um, generally, I have seen like, especially Indians in Canada, they, you know, do well off in life. Like they work hard for 20 years. Then when they want to retire, that's when they get their real estate license. Very, very few people uh, who are, you know, came to Canada as a student, who just get into sales because sales is super scary you could be having some days where no income at all so despite of that um, scary situation I still made the decision so um, stick till the end I'm gonna share why and also I'm gonna share how I got my license so first of all you know I was working in IT right my IT job was really good like paying me 80,000 um, 80, Canadian dollars per annum per year and full-time job in Windsor very low expenses and good salary was good um, but there was already always like a, a deep pain in me like always like I go to work I, I complete the job but always I think um, am I doing my fullest like am I really enjoying this process um, and I'm like not really growing from there. Like I was working in that company for last five years. I think I was like already fed up. Like it's it's too much for me. And my my body was there, but not the soul. Like soul is wandering somewhere, thinking about something else. Um, and I'm always like a kind of a person. I knew my personality for myself. Level, you know. I love talking to people. I love you know. Um, giving some free advice <laughs> so so many things i knew myself like I, I i i couldn't see myself in this it job for next 30 years so constantly that pain started to build up and in this process i got you know three properties three or four properties by the time i had like i already purchased rental properties um if you haven't seen that topic, I have a, the video where how I got my first property and how I, how, you know, how many properties I have right now and all those things under the video. But, um, you know, I was buying this property. Properties are also making rental income and the job is making income. And my wife already got a job. That income already started to generate. But this pain inside, like, you know, you can feel yourself if you're not there, if you're not growing professionally, I, I think you will you're dying you're going in a backward direction if you're not growing professionally it's just a I'm not complete that's what was the feeling going through but the sales I was reading and learning about you know how the industry work and all those things it's super scary because out of 900 agents only 10% have a success rate that means only 10 percent make more than 10 sales which is like scary that means like if i quit my job making that 80,000 might take me forever or might not even get anything so this was the questions i was asking myself like i was thinking to myself like loudly every day and i was talking to my wife what do i do what do i do um but you know one my favorite quote if you feel like you would regret not making this decision now if you will regret after five years or ten years you know if i'm speaking to myself right this is the words that i'm telling myself hey you know if you don't um do this thing now after five years you will tell your kids i wish i should have done that five years ago i don't want to have that regret because that's a regret my dad lived his life and I, I remember so many stories that he told me I wanted to do that, but I couldn't do it because of this, this, this. So now like, I have the reasons why if I go there, I might not success. 
but I have very little uh, chance that what if I take that risk? What if I go and do it? What if I get succeed? So if I succeed, awesome. I will be, you know, the best person for better, better person for myself because I'm self-satisfied by taking that. If I fail, I also thought about the worst case scenarios. You know, I go into the real estate and in one year, if I fail, if I don't make any sales, I'll come back to find another job. Because, you know, if after one year, probably my skill set, I'd spend another couple of months, learn more skills and get another IT job, which is doable. I don't think it's that hard. But like, I really told myself, I don't want to regret after five years, I want to do this. So that's the reason why I really made that move. I don't want to regret. And, and I knew myself, I'm good at people. I knew I really enjoy helping others. That's why you see a lot of content for free. Why? Because I really love to share. And I, I really want to see my co-Indians and you know my, my, my co-immigrants grow and see these opportunities in the real estate industry. So um, that's why I got it. But how I got it? Because I was working full time and I was, you know, um, investing, which is taking already a lot of my time. So literally what I did is like, I registered for course. First thing, if you're in my shoe, take the first step, rest steps will follow. That's what I told myself. I took my first step, which is like, I went in and registered my exam. So as soon as I got registered, now what do I do? If I don't attend the exam and you know, if I don't, take the course now I have to pay the extra fees so that's why <laughs> I had to do it so literally for next six months I, I was like just taking one month and reading the course like every day morning eight o'clock till eight o'clock morning six to eight I was reading for the exam and taking the exams end of the month so that's how it was like five exams it's a long process um, it took me like six months to eight months, something like that. In the middle, I, I like for one, two weeks, I didn't even do anything. Uh, one, two months, I didn't do anything because I was focusing on my investment properties. But finally, like I got my license in on 2019, January 31st on the same day. And I want, went and gave my resignation letter for, you know, for my boss um, because I, I, I want to do all in. Because in this real estate sales, like you do all in, you have a lot of chances for succeeding than compared to, to people who are doing part-time. Because when you're doing part-time, you cannot give yourself 100% for your client because you know there are hundreds of other agents who can help your client way better than you. And you're working full-time, you cannot even go show them properties or go to some analysis du during your work hour. That's why I, I went in full-time. Do I regret now? Not even a person. I'm thankful I made that serious decision at that moment. And trust me, it will pay off. Whatever, you know, it doesn't have to be real estate. The reason I'm sharing this story, whatever you have in your dream, right? Like you come as a student and you want to do something uh, other than just working for someone forever. Whatever the dreams you have, follow that. Because trust me, you start following it part time and then eventually once you see that fruits coming to results you you go in full time whenever your heart says this is the time you have to be all in then go all in and do it full time so and i strongly believe if you cross the country from india all the way to canada you know you you did all this you went through that student life and everything i'm, I'm i believe you you can do it even better so believe yourself and take that action and if you have any other success, if you have success stories like, you know, quitting the job or doing something that is you're following your heart, let me know in the comments below. I love to hear other, you know, students like me in Canada stories, success stories. I love to hear. Maybe I want to I want to interview. So share me your story. I'm curious, waiting here to hear your story. And with that, thank you so much. We'll see you on the next video of Indian Student in Canada series. Talk to you soon. Have a good day.